Hi, this is Justice, and in this video I'm going to be talking about the VIGME. This is the V751C, a beautiful, lovely, elegant name. Um, I would recommend a name adjustment in the future for these devices. This is a color e-ink screen, and it has the Google Play Store, and they've done a really good job improving the UI. Uh, you can see it's got a little widget up here for the time. It has the Google Play Store, which is really cool. Um, Big Me GPT. This is now based on Chat GPT 4. You just tap this button and you can start talking and it will send a message for you to Chat GPT 4, or at least uses that engine, and then will send you a response back. That will be a weird response. All right, but let's go ahead and look at a couple more of the features here. Uh, this can do a composition and AI draw as well. Now, if you want to adjust the screen right up here at the top, there's a little icon here. This gives you a lot of these settings here. This will make the screen um, the color brighter. Uh, this one. Uh, enhancement, contrast settings, you can adjust all that. Uh, refresh frequency. If you want to make this screen actually light up, right over here, swipe down from the corner, you can increase the brightness. And then you can increase the blue light, which uh, actually is really nice because sometimes I don't want to look at a yellow screen. But at nighttime, I do, and this is easier. This is a really light device. It's actually slimmer and smaller. This is not part of it. I use this to attach it to a MagSafe phone holder. Uh, I don't recommend this because uh, e-ink devices and magnets are not friends, as I found out. Okay, let's adjust those settings again. Okay, so it's got a really nice, clean, clear screen. Great for reading books. It's got Kindle already pre-installed. I'm learning how to use Kindle and a stylus so that you can do um, some notes and highlight things inside of uh, a Kindle book, which is actually really nice. So this is my favorite device to read on, uh, especially at night because of its size and because the screen lights up on its own. I don't have to turn something else on. Let's go back home. Now, one of the things I'm not going to be demonstrating on this device, but I will mention, is there is a new uh, global handwriting uh, widget. And this is actually really well done. I really like what they did. So what happens in certain applications, like if you're using OneNote, if you're using handwriting recognition in OneNote uh, with the stylus, it's slow. Uh, same for any e-ink device I've tried so far. It's really slow and almost unusably slow. I would argue it's not fun to use. If you have the global handwriting on, and this is brand new as of a couple weeks ago, uh, they did a really good job with this. Here, the handwriting, you can switch between a couple modes, read mode, picture mode. Here, what you can do is you can select uh, the type of pen, ballpoint pen, brush, pencil, pen. So basically get it to emulate what the drawing experience would be for um, the app. Like if I'm in OneNote, I'm drawing, and I'm drawing with a, uh, a pen. This would be a pen. So we'll select this. So what this will do is when you're drawing on the screen, it will take the line, draw it, over the application so it's not actually the application pulling in the data and while it's sending the information to say OneNote you're going to be able to at least see where the pen was and what the line looks like so you can continue uh, writing or doing whatever it is that you are wanting to do this is a great solution uh, when it's working i think there's actually a issue with this stylus right here and so uh, that is yet to be seen and uh, i believe that they're going to be sending me a larger device, one of the newer ones uh, that uses a different pen tech. And so there's a lot of hope for this system. It's one of the things that I'm most looking forward to is being able to use OneNote on an e-ink device and have OneNote feel snappy, like just comfortable and pleasant to write on. It is my favorite type of 
device to write on. It's so nice and so lovely. Uh, granted that there's not latency. What questions do you have about the B751C? Uh, go ahead and put those questions in the comment section and look forward to more videos about Big Me e-ink tablets in the future. If you're interested in picking up a little e-ink device like this one, please use the links in the description. All right, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.